we're your Fairdale counselors. I'm Ms. Hyman. I'm the counselor for the Global Service Academy. This is Ms. Smith. She's your counselor for the Civil Service Academy. And then Mr. James, who is the counselor for the Public Service Academy. Ms. Alvey's not here with us today, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about her in just a second. All right, first of all, in high school, your counselors not only do your schedule, but they keep up with your grades. They help you throughout high school make good uh, decisions about colleges and careers. And uh, we also meet your social emotional needs, which I'm sure you're used to in elementary and middle school. Uh, I have the, the highlighter on me here just to let you know if you're part of the Global Ser Service Academy, your pathway is art, band, Cambridge, choir, cyber engineering, ESL, hospitality and tourism orchestra or teaching and learning. I have several pathways in the Global Academy. Uh, then you have Mr. James here. He is the counselor for the Public Service Academy, which is our diesel tech students, heavy equipment, and nursing PCT students. And then you have Ms. Dottie Smith, who you met a minute ago. She is a counselor for the Civil Service Academy, which uh, houses our fire science and law enforcement students. And last but not least, as far as counselors go, we have Miss Alvey. Miss Alvey is your counselor for any and all students who have an IEP, and you know who you are. Uh, Miss Cook, this is our most important, our, our VIP in the counseling office once we're back in school in person. Uh, she is our administrative assistant, and she is the person who will greet you when you enter the counseling office. We're so happy to have you here at Fairdale. Mr. James is now here to talk to you about your schedule. What's up, Fairdale freshmen? My name is Mr. James, and I will be your counselor if you are in the Public Service Academy. So if you're heavy equipment, if you're diesel tech, or if you're in the nursing pathway. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about schedule. So first off, here at Fairdale, we're on trimester scheduling, which means that throughout the whole school year, it's going to be divided up into three different grading periods. Each is going to be 12 weeks long. Every 12 weeks, you're going to change classes. On a normal school day, you're going to have five periods, as you can see on the screen. Uh, for most of you all, you're going to have whatever your pathway class is going to be first or fifth period. The other periods throughout the school year are going to be filled with your core classes, your English, math, science, and social studies. Each is going to have a part A and a part B. And then your other classes will be filled with your chosen electives. Uh, it's important to see that you may not have a class now, so this particular schedule that you all are looking at does not have an English class right now. That just means you will take that class second trimester. So you may not have a class each trimester, but you will get it throughout the school year. And lastly, your schedule for NTI is going to look a little bit different. So on Mondays and Wednesdays, you all are going to report to your first, second, and third periods, of course, virtual, virtually. And Tuesdays and Thursdays, you all will report to your fourth and fifth period classes. Fridays, you all are going to have your RISE intervention, and you're going to have your advisory. You're going to learn more about those two in a separate session. So next we have Ms. Smith is gonna to talk to you all. Hi, so I just wanna to talk to you about your grades and how credits work in high school. So each class you take is worth a half credit and those half credits equal a total of 22 in order to graduate. So each class you take half credit and on our trimester schedule, you can earn up to two and a half credits um, if you pass the class with a D or higher. In order to become the next level in high school, you don't just move up because this is your second year of high school. You do have to have those credits. So an example here is to be a sophomore, you have to have five credits, a junior, 11 credits, and so on. But those credits have to be specific classes. Um, you have to have English four credits and math four credits, and you can read that screen there and see those. Those are state requirements that you have to pass in order to graduate high school. Um, we'll talk more about these in advisory sessions so that you can learn more about what is required for graduation and to be considered um, different levels of high school, sophomore, junior, and senior level. Keys money is another thing that's really important. Um, as you earn good grades in high school, there is an account set up for you that has money in it for post-secondary education. So each time you're making good grades, you're going to earn money into an account at the end of the school year to help you pay for things after high school for post-secondary education. 
The better your grade, the more money you're going to earn. We are going to give you lots and lots of information through advisory throughout the year. We also want to direct your attention. We have a counselor webpage connected to the Fairdale High School webpage that you can find at bit.ly forward slash Fairdale HS. So if you have questions, you can look on there and find out any extra information that we may have missed in our short little video today. Um, but like, like Ms. Hyman and Mr. James said, we'll be here to answer questions and help you through this four year journey. We look forward to seeing you in the future in person. Can't wait to meet you guys. Bye. Bye. Welcome to Fairdale.